टॉप सेवन मोस्ट इलीट नेशन स्टेट हैकर्स वॉट इज हैकिंग हैकिंग कोस्ट कंपनीज एंड कंज्यूमर्स ट्रिलियन ऑफ डॉलर एवरी ईयर According to CPO magazine by 2021 hacking attack will cost a total 6 trillion dollar up from 2 trillion in losses report in 2019 Much of the cyber crime problem stems from the same feature of the internet from which we all benefit Even the most amateur hacker can easily find all the tools they need online at virtually no cost Here's a look at the top 7 most notorious hackers of all the time Number 1 Kevin Mintic A seminal figure in American hacking, Kevin Mintic got his career start at as a teen. In 1981, he was charged with stealing computer manuals from Pacific Bell. In 1982, he had the North American Defense Command, an achievement that inspired the 1983 film War Games. In 1989, he hacked Digital Equipment Corporation's network and made copies of their software. Number 2, Anonymous Anonymous is a cyber activist movement created in 2003. For nearly two decades, one of the world's most infamous hacker group has operated under the name Anonymous, and the mysterious online community is making headlines once again. After Russia invaded Ukraine at the end of February, a Twitter account with 7.9 million followers named Anonymous declared a cyber war against Russia and its president Vladimir Putin. Since then the group has claimed responsibility for various cyber attacks that disabled websites and leaked data from Russian government agencies as well as state run news outlet and corporations Open called hack activities anonymous employees coordinated cyber attacks against various world governments corporations or other groups often in the name of social or political causes In a Feb 24 tweet, the anonymous account which says it cannot claim to speak for the whole of the anonymous collective called on hackers around the world, including in Russia, to say no to Vladimir Putin's war. Number 3, Adrian Lemo. In 2001, 20-year-old Adrian Lemo used an unprotected content management tool at Yahoo to modify a Reuters article and add a fake quote attributed to former Attorney General John Ashcroft. Lemo often hacked systems and then notified both the press and his victims. In some cases, he would help clean up the mess to improve their security. As White points out, Harold Lemo took things too far in 2002 when he hacked the New York Times intranet, added himself to the list of expert sources, and began conducting research on high-profile public figures. Lemo earned the moniker "the homeless hacker" because he preferred to wander the streets with little more than a backpack and often had no fixed address. Number four, Albert Gonzalez. According to the New York Daily News, Gonzalez, dubbed Soup Nazi, got his start as a troubled pack leader of computer nerds at his Miami high school. He eventually became active on criminal commerce site ShadowCrew.com and was considered one of its best hackers and moderators. At 22, Gonzalez was arrested in New York for debit card fraud related to stealing data from millions of card accounts. To avoid jail time, he became an informant for the Secret Service, ultimately helping indict dozens of Shadow Crew members. During his time as a paid informant, Gonzalez continued in criminal activities. Along with a group of accomplices, Gonzalez stole more than 180 million payment card accounts from companies including Office Max, Devil and Buster's, and Boston Market. The New York Times magazine notes that Gonzalez's 2005 attack on U.S. retailer TJX was the first serial data breach of credit information. Number five, Matthew Bevan and Richard Price. Matthew Bevan and Richard Price are a team of British hackers who hacked into multiple military networks in 1996. including Griffiths Air Force Base, the Defense Information System Agency, and the Korean Atomic Research Institute, CARI. Bevan and Price Data Stream Cowboy have been accused of nearly starting a third world war after they dumped CARI research onto American military systems. Bevan claims he was looking to prove a UFO conspiracy theory, and according to the BBC, his case bears resemblance to that of Gary McKinnon. 
malicious intent or not, Bevan and Price demonstrated that even military networks are vulnerable. Number 6. Jason James and Cheetah Jason James and Cheetah had no interest in hacking system for credit card data or trashy networks to deliver social justice. Instead, Anchita was curious about the use of words software-based robots that can infect and ultimately control computer systems. Using a series of large-scale botnet, he was able to compromise more than 400,000 computers in 2005. According to Ars Technica, he then rented these machines out to advertising companies and was also paid to directly install boards or adware on specific systems. Anchita was sentenced to 57 months in prison. This was the first time a hacker was sent to jail for the use of botnet technology. Number 7. Michael Kals In February 2000, 15-year-old Michael Kals, also known as Mafia Boy, discovered how to take over network of university computers. He used their combined resources to disrupt the number one research engine at the time, Yahoo. Within one week, he was also brought down Dell, eBay, CNN, and Amazon using a distributed denial of service DDoS attack that overwhelmed corporate servers and caused their website to crash. Kyle's wake-up call was perhaps the most sharing for cybercrime investors and internet proponents. If the biggest website in the world, valued at over $1 billion, could be so easily sidelined, was any online data truly safe? It's not an exaggeration to say that the development of cybercrime legislation suddenly became a top common priority thanks to Kyle's hack. Some of these top hackers aimed to make the world a better place, others to improve here for theories. Some wanted money and others hoped for fame. All these people played a critical role in the evolution of the internet and cybersecurity.